In this video, we'll look at the solubility of acetic acid, that's CH3COOH. You'll also see this written like this, and you'll see acetic acid also like this. These are all the same thing. We'll go with this one. I like this because this COOH here is just like this carboxylic acid on the end of our molecule. So acetic acid is very soluble in water, and that's because it's a polar molecule. So the reds, the oxygens, we see them here and here, they're very electronegative. That means that they'll have a partial negative charge. So put a negative up here, a little negative up here. That means the hydrogen, that'll be partially positive. And then this side over here in general will be positive as well. So we have these negatives and positives. We have poles. It's a polar molecule. And because of that, it dissolves very well in water, which is also a polar molecule. Let's take a look at that. So here's our water molecule, the red, that's the oxygen. It's more electronegative, so it'll have a bit of a negative charge. Hydrogen's positive. And those positives on the hydrogen, they'll align with the negative side here in this acetic acid molecule, this oxygen here. So they line up like that, the opposites attract. We'll have another water molecule come over here. The negative on the oxygen, that's attracted to the positive side of this acetic acid molecule. And finally, we have this other water molecule come here. The positive hydrogens is attracted to the negative oxygen on the acetic acid. And you can see the water molecules, they've surrounded this acetic acid molecule. And because of that, you can imagine that all of the molecules of acetic acid, they would dissolve in water. They'd mix with the water and form a homogeneous solution. So in answer to our question, acetic acid is soluble in water. That's because it's a polar molecule like water, and they can mix based on these dipole interactions. This is Dr. V. And thanks for watching.